What's up guys, it's Aaron. Um, so today we're talking about KT tape again, and I know I did a review of the KT tape before, but now that I have some more experience with KT tape and I use it almost on an everyday basis, you gotta know these do's and do nots to make sure that you're doing this the safe way. So I use KT tape every day. That's how I bind, that's how I go about my day, that's how I feel good about my chest and about my body, as good as I can. Um, so here are a few tips and keys that you gotta know in order to make sure you're doing this safely and make sure you don't get hurt. So the first thing you gotta know is to make sure you're not using new tape every single day. Now I know that might sound weird because when I first started using KT tape, I would rip it off and put a new piece of tape on every day. It made me feel clean, you know, it made me feel like I don't know, like that was how I was supposed to do it. But using new tape is not how you're supposed to do it, okay? You leave it on, I leave mine on for about three days. I know it may feel weird to shower, to come out of the shower with it wet, um, and, but the best thing to do is just to dry it off, let it, you know, let it dry naturally, and just keep wearing it for up to three days. Um, and then after those three days, usually mine starts to fall off. And then once it starts falling off, it's a lot better for you to take off instead of just ripping it off and ripping your skin with it. If you use new tape every single day, it's going to rip the skin, the top layer of your skin off, and it's going to make your skin raw. So that's like a big, big, big key to make sure you're doing this safely is not to use new tape every day. So the second tip um, I've heard of is to use Philips Milk of Magnesia to create a buffer between your skin and the tape. So you put it on, you let that dry, and then you apply the tape, and it kind of protects your skin. It protects your skin, it can take away redness, and it helps with itchy irritation of the skin. Number three is overstretching. Overstretching your tape to where you're applying it this way, and then when you, after you let go of it, it pulls your skin, right? So you have that on the, each end of the tape, it's pulling on your skin because you're overstretching it. Now I know it's hard not to overstretch it because we're using it for binding and it's not exactly what it was made for, but making sure that you have an anchor point that's about two inches from where you where you start or where you finish, then you can just lay the tape down. That's what I do, and that helps because the more that that the tape is pulling on your skin, it's pulling it this way, right? and that will create those open sores. It, it will create literal blisters on the sides of your sensitive skin. If that happens to me if I make sure that my anchor points aren't two inches from the end. After you get to that two inch anchor point, just lay the tape down. Don't be stretching it all the way out and stick it and then let go. Lay it across to you, find that anchor point, stop, like let go, make it loose on the end and then just push it down. If you need to use multiple pieces of tape to make sure that you're not overstretching it, that would be the key because having to use more tape and less overstretching will save your skin over time, will save you from these like abrasions, open sores that will, will happen if you overstretch it. KT tape comes in original cotton and then synthetic, pro synthetic, right? Um, the original cotton's meant for one to three days use and the pro is for about four to seven days usage. Now from what I read, the um, original cotton um, hands down is what you need. Not only is it cheaper, but it actually is softer on your skin. It's more gentle, but it's also able to give you a good hold while still last. Now removal of the tape is a big one. When I first started wearing it, I would just rip it off like a band-aid. Sometimes I would just help my girlfriend do it and just rip it off. Now the further that I go on tea, the more like baby fuzz I have on my chest, right? So now I have a little bit of peach fuzz on my chest. So when I rip it off, it is the most painful, excruciating thing you can do. And that's not actually how you're supposed to remove it. Some people say that you can use soap and water to help get it off. Um, usually if I wait three days, it starts to come off on its own, or if I work out with it and it's uh, and I'm really sweaty, it'll come off really easily, but an another great way to do this is to use an oil-based product. Like, I literally took vegetable oil and rubbed it across my chest and let it sit on the tape for a while and then peel it off and it literally was close to painless. Some things you can use are like coconut oil lotion, baby oil, baby oil lotion, or even olive oil. Like I said, all I had was vegetable oil and it worked great. So, you know, it felt weird when it was like all over my body and it was like, oh. But, you know, it came off and I was getting right in the shower so it didn't really matter. Now, once you have this oil on there and you let it sit for about three to five minutes, instead of ripping it off fast, like you think like, oh, a Band-Aid, like just rip it off and it'll be done. Don't do that. It rips off so much of your skin and that adhesive is supposed to be clinging on to you. When you rip it off, it's taking off that top layer, right? So rip it off slowly and gently along with that oil and you shouldn't have a problem. 
like I said, I only use KT tape now. Um, binding is just suffocating to me now, and it's just, it's hot, especially right now, because I'm in Tennessee, and it's humid, and it's hot, and it's summertime, and it's just, binding is just not an option for me. But I like the KT tape. I like being able to not worry about whether my shirts are showing my neck, or whether, you know, my I can wear a tank top, and I don't have to worry about, like, that binder being showing, because it kind of reminds me of a sports bra, so... I just like KT tape a lot better. I feel really confident in it. It works for me, but that you gotta be making sure that you're using these tips when you are using KT tape because otherwise you're just gonna make your skin raw, irritated, and in long term it's not gonna be good. Last minute tip, I also try to give mine a day off or on the weekend I'll try to give it Saturday off. So keep that in mind. Try not to keep it on there all the time. Let it breathe. So that's it for this do's and don'ts. I appreciate you guys watching this. I hope this helped out a little bit. If you're binding, if you're using KT tape, I know that it's hard guys, but hang in there. The summer months are almost up um, and you know, it might be a little easier when we can wear you know big sweatshirts and maybe not even bind at all because that's the goal. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.